praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The presence Hallelujah. of God is here. Hallelujah. The presence of God is here. Yes, Jesus. The presence of the Lord is here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Reverently, quietly, <laughs> gently before the presence of God. He is here. I feel his presence like I can't even put in the words. Hug a neck, whisper in your ear, I love you and God loves you, and then you can be seen by that. Hallelujah. I love you and God loves you. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. I love you and God loves you. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, God loves you. Amen, amen, amen. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Quietly be seated. Hallelujah. Presence of the Lord. Presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Well, welcome to New Day Christian Center. Amen. This is the day the Lord has made. Amen. 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 Welcome everybody out on the internet, all over YouTube. All of our brothers and sisters that watch this ministry, that follow this ministry, that are touched by this ministry, God bless you. Hang on to your seats. You're going to go deep into the spirit as this mighty man of God comes forward in a moment and breaks the word of life and feeds hungry hearts. Amen. If you're hungry, you're going to be fed. Amen. If you have a need, it's going to be met. Yes. If you need a word, the spirit of God is going to jump up off the pages of the word. And speak to your hearts right where you're at. Yes. Right where you need to hear something. Amen. I'm so glad to be here today. Amen. 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 You know, I'm going to do that. Uh, sisters, the, the Lord just spoke to me and said, we have not given him adequate praise for his miracle. If I can get your attention. Sister Stella, would you come up front, please? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to get this all over the world because we have not praised God enough in this. Come, please, woman of God. Give her a great big hand clap. I want everybody all over the world. We have people in Australia that watch, mm -hmm. Indonesia that watch, right. all over America that watch, right. all over Europe that watch, Switzerland, Norway, China, Japan. We have people that have joined follow this ministry literally from pole to pole all around the world. Amen. Amen. And uh, I don't want to put you on the spot, so I'll kind of talk through you. Okay. And you just amen and make, make sure everybody knows I'm telling the truth. Sounds good. This is a precious sister of the Lord that's yes. been a member of this church amen. family, and we love her dearly. Amen. 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 And you can serve God. Well, how come bad things happen to good people? Because you're good people. Amen. How come bad things happen to bad people? Because you're bad people. You reap to the flesh, you reap corruption. You serve God, you reap attack. Amen. You, you're, you're going into a battlefield. And this precious woman um, had been serving God and coming and being faithful. And uh, the devil attacked her. I mean, it was a very visible. She had a stroke. As she came to service, isn't that amazing? She had a stroke and still came to church. Amen. 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 Most people would miss church for six months. Amen. Amen. Until the doctor signed off, said you're 100 percent now. Then they'd go back to church. Amen. She had a stroke and was in church the next Sunday, I believe, weren't you? Mm -hmm. I mean, bless her heart, eyeball drooping, cheek drooping, lip drooping. Mary, am I exaggerating? Everything, Everything on one side was just well, it was pulled over to one side. And I'm asking Sister Mary because Sister Mary's not only a handmaiden in this church, but she's also her biological sister. And uh, it was a it was a visibly obvious stroke, mm -hmm. and we laid hands on you. Was there a guest minister that day? Uh, I believe it was. Brother was Terry. it Brother Terry from Brother Australia Terry. was ministering that day, mm -hmm. and uh, called him. And he, we called her up, or you came up. Mm -hmm. You came up. See, that's ninety percent of the battle is grabbing mm -hmm. Jesus by the hem of his tongue, oh, yeah. yeah. not yeah. waiting for you to be called out. Come on, yeah. you wait for God to call you out. You know, very rarely. Let me, let me see this all over the world. These people that go to these ministers that call people out, all that is flesh. 
well, if God knows me, he'll call me out. And then the guy shows off by calling you out. But all that's doing is promoting his ministry. It's not lifting up a hunger toward the Lord. Amen. Okay? The Bible doesn't teach, call me out, leave my address and name, even though sometimes I'll do that for a lost, sinful world. But that's not the pattern. The pattern is you, you wanting God enough to reach out to him. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Amen. God forevermore. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That's right. That's right. You press through the crowd. You yes, seek Jesus. Out the you longingly want to contact your Jesus, your healer. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise that's God. That's what she did the next Sunday she was here. Yes. And she came forward and said, I need a miracle. And she could barely talk. Mm -hmm. And I think sure. Terry and some of the elders and myself mm -hmm. laid hands on you. Yes, sir. Now look, will you smile real big for the world? Oh, <laughs> is that praise God. 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 I'm healed. I'm healed. Um, they gave me my blessing. And I went ahead and stayed in prayer. They had told me that I needed to do speech therapy. And I couldn't get in for a week and a half later. And I seriously could not enunciate a lot of my words. So I ended up um, just massaging my face and in praying faith. about it. And, praying um, in faith. Yes, I did. And when I got into speech therapy, they didn't even know I was there. So she asked me, what are you doing? And I said, well, you know, I've, I've had a stroke. At the time, they told me that it was false palsy. And she's like, you don't need to come in here anymore. She says, so she didn't even need her first appointment. I'll tell you, God began the healing process and she was cooperated in faith. Yes, yes. I, was, I was. It was a blessing. It really was because I was really concerned because it just happened so fast. Oh, yeah. It's a very scary mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. But that's what Satan wants. He wants to attack you. He wants to throw you in fear. Fear has no faith. And then he keeps you back. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Amen? Amen. 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 Uh, just like when I had panic attacks. 30, 40, 50 times a day for 365 days straight. Mm -hmm. Then one day, me and the devil had to talk in my shower. God spoke to me, gave me revelation knowledge. I spoke to the devil. The next day, it was during the uh, the rainy season, uh, I made an appointment to go out to Six Flags. I'm serious. Yeah. I drove all the way from Canton, Texas to Six Flags. Went there, there was hardly anybody there. I got on, got off, got on, got off, got on, got off. I rode the the Texas Giant 15 times in a row. Wow. Now, my, I said, see that devil? If you could kill me, you would have done it like number one, two, or three. <laughs> I mean, there was no crowd. I'd get off. Technically, you had to get off. Then I'd get back in, and off we went. Get off, get back in, off we went. Fifth, you tried riding the Texas Giant 15 times in a row. <laughs> and that, that, that was my show of faith, that you have no power over me, devil. Now, my legs felt like cannoli. I couldn't walk. They were vibrating <laughs> for 45 minutes. But that's what she did. She, she exercised faith after the prayer of faith yes. and didn't even need her first appointment. Amen. Amen. Isn't Amen. God good? Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 wonderful Jesus. Amen. 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 And I don't know who that's for, but whether it's for somebody here or somebody on the internet, somebody needed to hear that. Yes. And if they didn't, I know they did. It's just good to praise our healing Jesus. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He's worthy. Amen. Amen. Go ahead and say it again. He is worthy. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I want to take a moment before we have this mighty man of God come forward to welcome and acknowledge evangelist Lance and Stacy Simpson. Please stand. Amen. Come up here, brother. Come on, give him a great big hand. Amen. 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 Say something to the people all over the world. This event, these evangelists of God blessed us so greatly, didn't they? Yes. Amen. 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 So much positive feedback on the ministry right. video. And uh, people are just being blessed. So oh. say something to the people all over the world. Well, I just want to say that uh, God is good. Mm -hmm. Always say that first. Um, since we were here a couple weeks ago, you know, our pastor and his wife were here. And I wanted to share this. Uh, today in our service, uh, he's always shared his past with us in his church services uh, that he's gone through trials yes, and stuff. Yes. And 
he shared with us a little bit more to, today in our service uh, that he some stuff he went through uh, growing up and what started it I think was when we were up here just Stacy was telling her story and it kind of just opened that up I thank God just God just I just look at it and see how God puts the pieces yes, in the amen. puzzle at the right yes, time amen. and opens those doors and he, he, it's just good it's just awesome to sit amen. sit back after he does something and you sit back and look at it Good. We don't know what he's doing it at the time. Most of the time we don't. I know. But I always see it later. It just he just uh it's just awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Just to give him all the praise and glory. Yeah. And we want to thank y'all for helping us here a couple weeks ago. We it was just a blessing to us. Uh and it still is. And uh, we're just we're excited to see what the what God has in store for us. Yeah. We really are. We it's just uh it's been amazing. Amen. And I'd like for you, before you sit down, would you look at the camera and tell them what your P.O. box, do you have a P.O. box? No, I just, no. What well, your mailing address is, and, your, and if you have a separate phone number, for people who get a hold of you, if they want to ask for prayer, okay. or listen to me, I, I, I endorse this couple Hallelujah. as anointed of the Lord, as evangelists of God. God spoke supernaturally into their lives here, and I'm encouraging you invite them to minister to your church they will leave an impartation of heaven in your congregation hallelujah yeah. praise god uh my name is lance simpson this is stacy simpson our, our address is uh, 3210 it's bonham street that's b-o-n-h-a-m uh greenville texas our zip code is 75403 uh, phone number is 903-366-3747 Amen. 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 Thank you. You had something to say, Wilmer, Dad? Uh, no, I just concur with Lance on everything. And I know during today's services, when they did have everyone go down and pray for healing and everything, I told Lance, I said, as I was praying over uh, different ladies and stuff, it was just amazing as uh, I was laying hands on everybody. Um, I could feel the power just from my hands flowing through them. It, it was, was annoying. Yes, it was amazing. Hallelujah. So, amen. And the Spirit of the Lord would say to both of you that it has just begun. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Continue to increase as you continue to obey. Yes. You're going to stay poor in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Give them a great big hand. And then I'd like to give, I don't even like that phrase, shout out. It's kind of, I like to endorse uh, a couple of people, several people, before we get into the, the uh, main part of the service. Brother Terry Bahamas is back from Pakistan. Amen. Uh, Amen. Who is a son in the faith and a part of our extended church. And the prophecy that we spoke over him has been fulfilled. Is now pastoring two, according to Jesus churches in Pakistan. Amen. And in four weeks, he's going to Africa. How many of you know there will be a pointing to Jesus Church in Africa? Yes. Amen. 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 I encourage you strongly go to Pointing to Jesus Ministries on YouTube. Watch the videos from his latest trip and there's one, one part where I literally just made me cry he's standing outside the church they've got a sign mounted to the wall that says pointing to Jesus Church Lahore Pakistan and it's just so awesome mm -hmm. and he had a six hour service oh, oh, yeah. and it's amazing God doesn't worry about time we do mm -hmm. and he said it looks it literally at the end it looked, they're feeding them these hungry souls it really, literally reminds you of the disciples feeding the fish, fish and the loaves to the masses that were hungry after the service. It's just New Testament jumping right off the page. Please make sure you visit uh, Apostle Terry's YouTube site and leave a comment. Let him know you're watching, you're praying for him. Amen? Amen. Amen. Then there's another, how many of you have heard me mention uh, Brother James Kovac up in uh, Williams, Williamsville, Williamsburg, uh, Pennsylvania? Yes. He's a prophet of God. Amen. Very gentle, very soft-spoken man. Uh, he is uh, 
praying and breaking the ground to start his church up, up in that area. Go to his website. Watch some of his teaching. He is very, very gentle and slow, but revelation knowledge flows from him. He's a powerful man of God. He's extremely, extremely knowledgeable in the spirit realm, the process of becoming uh, men and women of God in the fivefold ministry, and we are absolutely kindred spirits. And uh, myself and Brother Terry both uh, have subscribed to his channel, and he, all three of us encourage each other. So go to him. It's uh, All Things Prophetic on YouTube. All Things Prophetic. Amen. Make sure you go. I'm telling you, you will learn. Amen? Amen. Amen. And then go to Pointing to Jesus Ministries on YouTube, uh, Apostle Terry Bahumas. And he's been here, what, twice now? Yes. You know, how many of you are in love with Brother Terry? Amen. 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 Awesome. Amen. Amen. Well, there's a fourth person that's kind of joined in our circle. And what a precious, precious man. I sent a video to uh, Pastor Tony and Pastor Daryl. I believe it was last night. He's, he's kind of, uh, I didn't know him. He was connected to Brother James by YouTube. And then because of that, started watching my videos and leaving a bunch of really, really wonderful comments. Well, he is, uh, I wish Teresa was here so I could rub it in her face a little bit. Uh, <laughs> he, he watched those uh, exhortations of excellence where I opened up the folders and showed and read out of her, her, uh, out of her folders showing the, uh, the ministry of excellence. Well, that so impacted him. Now, this man runs his own international ministry. He is the pastor and overseer of Pentecostal Evangelical Churches. And there's several, I would think probably hundreds, of Pentecostal Evangelical Churches under his umbrella. And he licenses and ordains. And uh, That ministry is probably close to 100 years old. I believe it was started by his grandfather, then his father ran it, and then when his father went home to be with the Lord, passed it on to, uh, to this brother. And so he's, he's a very seasoned man, but he's extremely uh, loving. He's extremely, uh, he's just got a good spirit, and I like him a lot. Well, he was watching. Well, he's been putting shout-outs to, uh, to Brother T.C. Higgins, <laughs> T.C. Hudgens, and, and, uh, and he, he's, he's, he's funny, but he's a, he's a good man. And I encourage you, go to... Pentecostal Evangelical Church, watch his teachings. He's doing teachings every week on different main Bible characters, and they're very good. They're very good, basic, solid teaching. But he's given, and, and brother, it's Hudgens, Hudgens, not Higgins, Higgins, Hudgens. God bless his heart, he's trying. <laughs> so anyway, he, he was so impacted by those by those notebooks, and he's been razzing on you. He said, boy, brother, you could... You can hear it get quiet in your church. <laughs> he said, there were amen and then hallelujah until you said, how many of you have been keeping notes? And he said, it got definitely quiet in there. And uh, you, do, you don't realize how quiet you got until you watch the video. And that's, see, thank you, Jesus. For thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Uh, when you can hear is Daryl because he's used to amen in his way through pain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amen. He's, <laughs> he's been hanging around with me so many years. He learned a long time ago, never stop amen and you give yourself a word. <laughs> so I could be throwing sledgehammers at the guy Tommy's going, that's right. <laughs> I could be throwing sledgehammers through the pulpit girl. Yes! Hallelujah! <laughs> You'll never know it applies to him. <laughs> but it does. It does. <laughs> Always grinning like he stole somebody's cat. He's been there too. But uh, the brother's name is, is uh, Brother Justin Morris. And Brother Justin, God bless you. We love you. I love you so much. You've been a tremendous blessing to me. And I really, really, really enjoy your ministry, brother. It's a solid, good Bible teaching ministry. And I encourage everybody in this congregation and all over YouTube, subscribe to Brother Justin Morris's. Uh, Pentecostal Evangelical Church uh, site on YouTube. Watch his stuff. It's sound. It's solid. It's good Bible teaching. Amen. And he got Amen. turned on to those notebooks, and uh, he's got his own notebook. And he's already got a full-blown colored picture of me on the front of his notebook. 
And uh, what was it called? It was uh, something like God's talking to you or something on the front of his notebook. So all he's sitting watching the video is making notes. This man's a leader of a denomination and starting his own notebooks on things he's learning and gleaning from this man. <coughs> Is that awesome? Oh, yes. Yes. Amen. Isn't that awesome? Amen. Yes. And this man's got an inner nose. Net. He's ordaining and licensing hundreds of people, and he's getting something out of our te Amen. teaching. Amen. That's a humble spirit. That's a, that's a right heart. Amen? Amen. Amen. And uh, Pastor Tony, he said, yeah, I watched the video. That's awesome stuff. That, that it, Stand up, Pastor Tony. Stand up, Brother Joe. As a matter of fact, come over here. I want Brother Morris to see what I'm talking about. And I want Brother James to see what I'm talking about. Come on. Come on up here. Hurry up. Don't kick the stand. This is Brother Daryl. And this is Brother Tony. Come over here. One on each side. Daryl Gilchrist and Tony Agee. And these are both fully ordained, fully uh, recognized ministers. They hold license and ordinations from Jacko Ministry International. Had hands laid on him by him before he went on to be with the Lord. They are my left and right hand in this, in this church. They are the two primary elders of this church. Until I get sick of them, tell them to start their own church. <laughs> and, uh, Morris, these are two mighty men of God. And, hello, brother. Uh, yeah, say hello to him. Hello, brother. And uh, I encourage that brother, uh, come up here, Brother Chris. Here's another young man in training. And he's a very seasoned young man in the ministry. Come here. But he felt led to apostolically to join our church and get raised up in the ministry. Uh, and please, I know I'm going to slug it. Uh, Idi Amin? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's the mass killer. Say it. Amin. That's exactly what I said. Amin. <laughs> <laughs> this is Chris. Idi Amin. That's <laughs> <laughs> not for a white boy, brother. <laughs> hey, hands on me. Ahidia <laughs> man. Yes, sir. Chris, Chris Ahidia man. A wonderful young man of God. Yes. Uh, Amen. Amen. Brother Allen, come up here. Uh, he's soon to uh, be another ordained minister under this ministry. Brother Allen, come over here. This is Alan Traw. Uh, a little bit prejudiced and partial about him. He's my son. Looks just like me, don't they? <laughs> All my boys look just like me. Amen? Amen. And uh, Alan it has the anointing of God on his life. He's called to the Lord. He's also operating in the, in the level of deacon and uh, moving up into the level of elder. And then pretty soon he's going to be fully ordained Amen. and uh, Amen. a functioning member of this church. Now, I also say this to everybody out on YouTube. If you know churches that desperately need an impartation, and need a touch from the presence of God, and you need somebody to come and minister to the people, then any one of these men can make themselves accessible, and they will be a yes. blessing to you. I encourage and endorse all four of them in Jesus' name. Thanks, God. Amen. 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 God bless you, man. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And they can all, if somebody will make sure there's no arterial bleeding back there, uh, and I stand behind and endorse all of them, along with Brother Lance and Sister Stacy. They're all anointed and called to God. And I'm not uh, trying to get them ministry or mess, uh, meetings, but I'm telling you, God will bless you through them. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now, this next man that's going to come and minister to us and break the manna of God and feed us spiritually. We go back a long, long ways through a lot of blood, a lot of mud, a lot of flood, a lot of very tough times that he stood with Pastor TC. A lot of good times. He virtually watched that last church be raised up. He, he came fairly early with Brother Daryl and Sister Sherry began coming. And back in those days, he wasn't near as fat. <laughs> what? <laughs> he had more hair <laughs> and he wore jackets <laughs> and I met this man of God when he was what 20 19 20. 19 years old I think I think it was 19 years old and I think you and Melissa had only been married a year just newly married and immediately I 
recognized a man of a different spirit, a young man of a different spirit. Praise God. He uh, played the drums in praise and worship. He joined ministerial training school. He joined uh, MIT, Ministers in Training. He's also a graduate of uh, Believer's School of Ministry, what, two or three times? Two or three years? Somewhere through there. And uh, <clears throat> was ultimately promoted to youth pastor underneath me in Living Word, Forest Word Church in Canton, Texas. This is a man who has proved himself before the Lord and before his mentors and his covering. You now serve where? Victory Church. Victory Church in Canton, Texas. Brother Mike Burns' church. Another fine, fine man of God in a good church. Not as good as ours, but good. <laughs> How many of you believe there's no church as good as our church? <laughs> that, that would probably be pretty close second. <laughs> and uh, I had been waiting for the right time. When the Lord spoke to me, he said, in 2020, I want you to have more guest ministers to, to bring more uh, of my life in through other avenues. And I said, okay, I'll do that. So I immediately started with Lance and Stacy, and then I uh, asked uh, Pastor Tommy and Pastor Melissa if they could make time to come and minister to us. And uh, I'm telling you, I know this man for how many years now? so much years. 24. 24 years, almost 25 years. You're now 40, 44 years old. I keep having the habit of calling him young man and kid and all this, but when you're 66, people get a lot younger than you real fast. <laughs> Amen? Amen? So don't be offended if I ever call you kid or little, little sister or little, little guy or whatever. It's not a disrespect, it's just coming from a father status in the, in the faith. And as a father in the faith, and as a man that proved himself as a son in the faith, now I'm introducing not only my dear friend, mightily anointed young man and woman, but a proven servant of God. God. Welcome Tommy and Melissa Garcia. <laughs>
goodness of God. The goodness of God. Man, I went home and studied and hours, and I couldn't get past one verse, and I, I couldn't get past knowing what the definitions meant. Like, so I would just, <laughs> I spent most of the time looking up, and, and I didn't understand the Greek, and on Hebrew at the time, didn't have a concordance or anything, but I didn't know what the word meant, so I'd go look it up. And so I just, I didn't know what the word meant, and I'd look it up. So anyway, I spent the first time that I got to speak, and was on the goodness of God, right? And I got up there, and I'm thinking, yeah, I could probably make this thing go about 30 minutes, whatever. <laughs> I think it was like eight minutes. <laughs> eight minutes. And I, th- I spent half the time saying, I didn't know what that meant, so I looked it up. <laughs> so I didn't know nothing. I, didn't, I was so nervous. I was so scared. I just, I just, man. But I just want to go through my life because you've never, this is the first time that I've gotten to speak, I guess, really in other than that time, I believe. I don't ever recall preaching that living word that I remember. But God, God, I just want to honor you. I want to, I want, uh, I just praise the God in you and, and your obedience to raise up people like me. And so I just want to honor you today. And, and then we're going to go have a message or a heart, uh, uh, something that I'm going to share. And it's going to bless you. So in the process of me honoring this man, you're going to be ministered to, and I'm just going to share some, some testimonies and things that God's done to me, uh, or uh, through me. Uh, I remember, though, being in Seattle. We went to, we were, uh, I was a youth pastor uh, at Living Word, and, and we went to uh, Seattle. I think it was a U-turn. Uh, right, it wasn't, they were just launching U-turn. U-turn is like a nationally uh, youth um, logo they were using, a uh, ministry they were using. So we went to Seattle, Washington, and I remember riding down the freeway, and I was I was so nervous to be around him. I just <laughs> intimidated, man, because I didn't know who I was. See, when you're in, when you're intimidated around people, it's usually because you don't know who you are. Yeah. And so I just was, I didn't have any experience. I remember telling him, going down the road, we were driving. I don't remember what the conversation was or how it got started or anything, but I remember telling him, I remember coming from my, my lips, my words, I was like, I don't have any experience. Like, I don't have anything that I just, all I, I barely know the word. <laughs> and I just, I don't have any experiences, any testimonies. I don't have anything to share with people. And, and you know, he encouraged me and, and, and just, uh, just gave me, you know, words of encouragement. But as time went on, you know, I kept sitting under, sitting under his ministry and just hearing the word and hearing the word. And, uh, but I remember, though, I want to back up a little bit because I want to kind of lay out my life and, and through his ministry and then on to, to, to current. But when I first got saved, I got saved, uh, I, there was a prophetic word that came, two words actually came to me, and I was with Pastor Daryl. And we went to a church in, in Wills Point, and of course, uh, PC, Pastor PC knows what Wills, where Wills Point is. Uh, so I went with him. We were going to go and hear... I believe it was a prophet. Uh, yeah, it was a prophet. Cole, yeah, what's his name? Cole. 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 Yep. And uh, so we were there and sitting in service, and he didn't really have anything, I don't guess, because all I remember, I said, all I remember is he didn't have anything really. He wasn't sharing any a lot. So he sat down, but the pastor gets up and he starts kind of calling some people forth and praying for people and stuff like that. But he calls me up. He says, young man, he says, and I'm like 20, I don't know, 20 years old. He says, young man, he says, he says, come here. And as I saw him getting closer, he started going, wow. I mean, he just started making a big deal. I was like, man, I stink. What was that? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I know I didn't shower last week. <laughs> but I said, uh, he started, or, yeah, he calls me up, and he's like, he said, the Lord said, he's going to, uh, he said, you know you're called to ministry, right? And I said, yes, sir. I said, I know I'm called to ministry. God had already been dealing with me that, speaking to me about that. And then he gave, he said, he said, the Lord says do two things. He said, get teaching. And then the second thing he says, lay hands on people. And so, you know, I received that word and took that word. And so, uh, also, Daryl had invited me. He was going to Living Word, Pastor PC's church, and minister and train me there and all that. And so he, he uh, invited me to come to Living Word. And I was going to Victory Church, the same church I'm going to now, 20-something 20, 20 years later. I'm back there. Uh, youth pastor, and so he calls, uh, Daryl invites me to the living word, and the moment we stepped in and we heard the word of God, man, I knew that's where I needed to be, I knew I needed to be there, and then there was a ministerial training uh, 
program or ministerial training there to raise up ministers and stuff. And so I loved it. And so I just knew, I was like, this is the teaching that, that the Lord said for me to do. And so in that same, so I, we started going there. I told Pastor Mike at, at Victory Church, I said, I, I, God's calling me here. I need to go here. This is where I need to go. He left right. Yeah, so we left right and sat down. Here's, we understood. Uh, I was just hungry. I was so hungry for more. Not that, Pastor, you know, Pastor Burns at our church, he is, he's at a different level than he was 20-some years ago. Obviously, he was, he's really hungry for more and doing great work there. And so Amen. Amen. I... Uh, after, after I was going to live in the Word and stuff, I started I started laying hands on them. So I started following that second instruction. I started to lay hands on people. And I remember the very first time I started uh, that I laid hands on anyone, it was myself. And I had poison ivy on my hand. I had poison ivy on my hand, my hand that come up. And so I just laid hands on them. And, of course, I was sitting under his ministry, so I understood. How many of you know you don't pray for healing, right? You, you command healing. You declare healing. And so I just said, in the name of Jesus, I just command this poison ivy to be made uh, to be gone in Jesus' name. Amen. Boom. And within the hour, it was it was gone immediately. Amen. Just left. Amen. Amen. And so I started getting a little Amen. bit of confidence. I started getting a little bit of boldness. And so I started laying hands on headaches and stuff. And so uh, and migraines and fevers and you know, I, we as people we we tend to categorize everything, right? You know, like uh, you know that healing, uh, fever and headache is different from cancer it's a totally different level right in our minds it is but to god it's all the same that's it's right the same. He's, yes. he's the healer it takes the same faith it takes amen. the same god to, to do all of it jesus amen. to do all of it yes. so, so i started laying hands on fever and then started laying hands on headaches and migraines and things of that sort and started seeing them healed and so then i started getting a little bit more bolder a little bit more confident confidence and so i started looking to i wanted to uh, there was a lady at walmart Boy, I've seen so many miracles at Walmart. It's, it's incredible. Um, Hallelujah. I was in, in Canton, the Walmart, the Walmart in Canton. There's tons of miracles there. But there was a lady. I was sitting at a computer, and I'm sitting at my computer desk. And uh, there's a little walkway right here. So I can't see because it's a little walkway right here. And it's where the layaway is in the back of the store. And so I'm sitting at my computer doing my work and looking up stuff, whatever. And the spirit, of, and there was a lady that was two ladies that was talking, and one lady was talking about her leg was filled up with fluid, and it was swollen, and she was going to go to the doctor and uh, after work, because it was bothering her real bad, it was in pain, and uh, so I was just sitting there, I wasn't even thinking about anything spiritual, I wasn't doing, I was just minding my own business, doing my work, and all of a sudden the Spirit of God said, he says, I love this, because you learn a lot about who God is when he speaks words to you, Amen. and he said, he said, I want to heal her. And, I, and at first, I'm, now I'm still young in the Lord. I'm still learning. I was like, is that pizza? Is that what's going on? <laughs> is that something I ate? <laughs> I don't know. So then I realized real quick, you know, the devil kills, right? The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus is going to give you life and life more abundantly. Amen. So I knew that wasn't the devil speaking to me because he, he would say, I want to kill her, right? That's right. Yeah. So I knew that was God, and I was kind of fighting through it, fighting through it, my obedience to that. And so I waited for the right opportunity for the for the for those two ladies, and there was customers coming up. And so uh, I finally made my move. And so I went to her, and I said, ma'am, I said, uh, I was sitting there at the computer, and I heard you talking and uh, about your leg. And I said, the Spirit of God spoke to me and said he wants to heal you. Do you believe that? And she said, yes, I do. And I said, okay, so I'm about to lay, I'm going to lay my hands on you, and you're going to be healed. And, she, and uh, I was about to, to go down. This is God training me and showing me about who I am in Christ and the power of Him. And so I was about to lay my hands on her. I squatted down, and the Spirit of God says, no. And I was like, well, wait, wait a minute. Well, you told me to lay hands That's what your word says. Right? He says, no, I don't want you to lay hands on her. I just want you to speak it. Amen. And so, so I said, in the name of Jesus, be healed. And so her leg... I didn't know. I didn't feel anything. Most of the times, the healings that God has do, you know, used through me, I didn't feel a thing. Like, I didn't sense anything. It wasn't nothing that, and I just, you know, I just knew. And I knew God was going to heal that lady because he had spoken to me. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, if I would obey, he was going to do it. it was Amen. One of grace things that he was going to do for this lady. No doubt. Amen. And so, I walked away. Long story short, five minutes after I walked away, she, uh, she said, she told me the story, testimony. She said, you walked away and there was just a warm, tingling sensation in my leg started 
started warming up and she said my leg just it just sucked down and she's and it just swollen went down and so she's in the break room telling this testimony like she's in the break room telling and just excited telling everybody about it and uh, this is so so cool it's, it's not like the story where the where the bible says that jesus fame uh, spread yes yeah, there yeah. was a uh, a, a guy that was listening inside the break room when she was telling this story and it happened to be a guy that works with me in my department in frozen food at the time i was working in frozen food over as a department manager and so i'm in my area and the guy comes up to me and he says his name is daniel and he says uh he says hey this is so cool this is god so good he says hey uh he's real humble you know trying to come up to me and he says hey i uh, heard what you did for so and so and i can't remember her name that lady i didn't know that lady and he said uh can you do that for me and i was like well i can't do it but jesus can and he will man and so he had diabetes he had diabetes and he had to take insulin shots and stuff like that and i don't know much about that i still don't know a whole lot about it but i just know that i know that he will i know he will do it and so i i laid I laid my hands on his foot this is what i didn't say not to this time <laughs> so i laid my hands on, on his on his feet because that's where his feet was really bothering him down there so i laid my hands on him and I said in the name of jesus be healed mm -hmm. of this diabetes. And so I said, and oh, by the way, I'm sorry, let me back up. I went to the lady, but the lady, I don't know why, and, and this is just learning about healing. This will help us if, if how many of you want to be used by God? Amen. 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 So I remember that lady, though, I remember getting real bold. This is something, too, that I think is very sensitive, too, uh, that we need to learn about when you're praying for someone to be really led by the Holy Spirit in yes. everything. Because yes. That lady, when I laid my hands on her, after, I mean, after I spoke to her, and I and I said, well, you know, you're healed in Jesus' name. And so I got up and I said, if you believe God, if you believe that Jesus healed you, don't go to the doctor. That's what I told her. And uh, I looked back and I was like, oh, dear Lord. <laughs> and so uh, she said, I believe. I said, okay, well, then, you know, you're healed. Praise God. So anyway, and then. Dan, I, that day, I guess it was just God really impressing me to, to tell people that. But Daniel, when I laid my hands on him and, and then, and with, you know, commanded diabetes to be gone, I told Daniel, I said, if you believe, <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, those people that have had diabetes, I mean, he had, he had bad diabetes. Yes. He had to take his insulin. He had to have it. And so I said, if you believe God, don't take your insulin. And so he, he uh, comes back the next day and he says, uh, he says, I didn't take my insulin. He said, I'm healed. Amen. I'm totally healed. Amen. I'm totally healed. Amen. So, uh, Jesus. praise God. I remember, uh, and I'm doing this, like I said, to honor this man because he pumped this stuff in me. He pumped, he gave me a, a desire for the word, a desire for healing, and uh, stirred some things in me. And, and I'm just, I want to, you know, Galatians 6 6. I want to clarify this the reason why I'm doing this. Because the Bible says, Let him who receives instruction in the word share all good things with this teacher, contributing to his support. And that's what, that's what I want to do. I'm, I'm contributing to his support and his encouragement of how he poured into my life and uh, gave me such a solid foundation, solid foundation of the word. And I'm forever grateful for that. My family's grateful. I'm grateful for it. And my wife's grateful for it. She, she said under his ministry. So I just mm -hmm. want to honor this man. Uh, I just want to give some more testimonies. Uh, there was a man, uh, actually, I was in Canton again. It was at the, the egg department. So I'm over there by the egg. I don't even know what I was, what area I was, department I was over at that time. But I, there was a lady who had a seizure right there by the edge. She just, just like she was walking, all of a sudden just started convulsing. She just shaking violently, convulsing. And so uh, I, I, I did the first thing first in the natural. It's like let's call management over here. Let's you know, do go through the proper protocol and do all that stuff. You know, I wasn't in upper management. And so I had. Uh, She's convulsing, and then and she was with two ladies, and or one lady, and I think it might have been her mom. It was, a, it was a younger lady, and so she's just convulsing and shaking violently, legs, you know, and head, feet, and just going crazy. And uh, the lady, her mom, was trying to hold her down, just like you know, squat her down, just trying to hold her, hold her down, keep her still. And there was, you know, she was giving some instruction to people and stuff. So I was at the foot of her, and seizures are spirit. How many know? Yes, they yeah. are. It's a spirit. Amen. So a spirit. I, I put my, I went down, I squatted <clears> down, <throat> and I mean, I didn't make a big deal about it. I just put my hand on her foot, and she was shaking up, 
kind of held it like that, and I said, in the name of Jesus, devil, let her go. And I said it under my breath. The moment I said that, she stopped convulsing, just came to. Praise God. I remember I was in Terrell. I was in Terrell and uh, I was tired. I'd worked that, that time I was working Terrell. I was working like 15 hours a day. I was working a lot. And so I was tired. I was ready to go home. I didn't want to minister to nobody. I didn't want to talk to nobody. I just want to go home. And so, but uh, I would always open up my Bible at Terrell and I would always read the Word of God on my breaks and just love to do it. Couldn't wait to do it. Couldn't wait for lunchtime to come around. Kind of like a little kid can't wait for recess. <laughs> I just couldn't wait to get in there and, and, and spend time with God and the Word. And so uh, the lady came up to me that I knew to talk to, and she said, "She said, hey, can you uh, pray for my my husband? He has uh, he has cancer." And I was like, uh, "Yeah, sure." I mean, I was kind of a little snotty about it. I was like, yeah, sure. And so I went to uh, I went. To, they took me to the shoe department, and he's sitting on a uh, where you where you try on the shoes and stuff. There's a mirror and stuff. He's sitting down. And I go over there and I ask what's wrong. You know, he said I've got tumor or I've got cancers and tumors on my head and stuff. So I said, okay. I said, well, do you believe God will heal you when I lay hands on you? And he said, yes. He said, I do. And I said, and I was like, I'm tired. I'm ready to go. But I just I, I, I did it. And I said, I, I said in Jesus' name, command the cancer to be gone. And so. The, they went to the, they were going to the doctor the next day. They were going to the doctor the next day, and they come back with the scan and everything, and no traces of Jesus whatsoever. Uh, I remember uh, a story where I was at Walmart. It was in Canton. I'm sitting there reading my Bible like I always do, to break open the Word of God. And uh, I would have people come often come and, and want to pray, me to pray with them and, and talk to them about God. But a lady, this particular lady, she works in the jewelry department. She comes up. She said, "Tommy, she said, will you pray with my niece or pray for my niece?" 